What's up nail geeks? I am back with another polish pickup video. This month we have the theme Tis the Season, one of my favorites. This one and Halloween themes are my absolute hands down favorite. I've got six, so to keep it short and sweet and super simple as usual, I cannot wait to show you guys these. We have a lot of pretties and I'm super stoked that I finally got this out well before wishlisting kind of. So wishlisting should be opening up this coming Sunday and I'm glad I got to show you guys these to help with your wish list. So without further ado, let's dive right into the swatches. So first up, we've got Baroness X Vermeil. I apologize if I'm saying that incorrectly. This is described as a gold flaky based fluid art polish and a clear base. This one is going to be 1250 and capped at 200 bottles. So we have a very, in my opinion, versatile polish here. Um, in my swatches, I wore it at two coats on its own to give this gorgeous, very much holiday-esque sort of uh, appearance, very reflective type of metallic glitters. And then I also did some fluid art, which is what you're seeing here. And I also wore it as a uh, just dry brushed gradient on my index finger. Um, I really, want to make the caveat that um, those of you who have been following along on my, especially my polish pickup videos over the years, um, I'm not the best fluid art artist, uh, just to say the least. Um, so my cells, especially on this one, uh, came out a touch thinner. If you join the Baroness X Facebook, full disclosure, I am an admin over there. I'll happily let you in. Just say hi, mage or hi, Trish, whatever, uh, when you're joining and um, I'll let you in. Um, we have a ton of uh, fluid art tutorials. We have a compilation list in the file section and we have some incredible nail artists that have shared their tips and tricks with us in that group. So if you want more information on that, I'd recommend that. But uh, it definitely does perform. I saw little cells on my decal there. And if you're curious, I got that silicone mat also from Baroness X's shop too. Uh, Demi sent that over as a gift. And next is Ethereal Lacquer. This is the pickle, described as a pickle green jelly base filled with pink to orange shimmer and holographic micro flakes. So uh, fun fact, my brother gifted me a pickle, uh, the pickle ornament, uh, if you're unsure what I'm talking about. A couple years ago, I did not know, know what it was. It was a total gift. Him and I give each other gag gifts every year. It's horrifying to our family members, but very funny to us. Um, but he gave this to me and it went into my tree because my tree is very much a foodie themed tree. I've got candy, donuts, you name it, it's on the tree. So this just fit right in. And uh, then I discovered that it's an actual tradition. So super fun. And now I have a polish to match it. So the pickle, I digress, I'm just yapping you guys off today. Uh, the pickle has a sort of jelly sort of formula to it. I built it up at three coats on my nail. If you're wearing an undie of some type, uh, such as a, a color correcting base coat, what have you, or if your nails are more natural, less thick than my artificial nails, you're probably maybe going to get to get away with two coats. This one's definitely going to depend on your preference, but overall that shimmer is popping. And next up, we've got Fair Maiden Polish. This is Holodazzle. This is a bright champagne golden yellow base with violet red green shifting shimmer and silver reflective glitters. This one's 12 with no cap. So I really enjoyed this one. I very much appreciate the general color palette happening here. I do agree that the uh, base color is a champagne gold yellow. It's really difficult to just kind of describe in person, but uh, watching my video here on the playback and my swatches, I definitely think that this is what I'm seeing in person. It's really interesting. I think it's absolutely going to play up against your skin tone if you're warm or cool toned and depending on how deep or light your skin tone is. This does dry down quite thirsty because of the silver reflective glitters in it. Uh, so I'm definitely going to suggest a glitter smoothing top coat underneath your glossy. And Night Owl Lacquer brings us Spread Love and Kindness. This is a clear base filled with fuchsia, peach, gold, green shimmer, turquoise flakes, and holographic dust. Price is 13 and there is no cap. So this one, uh, very surprising to me. When I first read the initial description for it, I was like, okay, it's going to apply more like a topper, which sort of, it's a very, very dense, dense one, if that's the case. Um, so I do see that there's a touch of versatility in this one if you wanted to use an undie with it, but it 100% is a normal polish and you can build up very quickly between two to three coats. Even with my artificial thick nails, I think two coats was perfect for me. 
This one isn't textured, but it does have quite a bit of thirstiness because it is packed full of those flakes. So I'm gonna suggest a thicker glossy top coat. You may want to use a glitter smoothing top coat, but I don't think it's that textured to require that. And next up, we've got Psych Minerals Keep the Change. This is a multi chrome that shifts from rusty red to coppery red to orange to green. Price is $12.50 and there's a cap of $150. This is so pretty. I said it last month on my video that I think Psych Minerals, uh, her multi chromes are very much uh, underrated. They are so stinking pretty. And to me, what gives off a strong, shifty vibe, at least what I consider that, is when the polish basically photographs itself. If I don't have to do super turbo hand acrobatics at my nail desk to catch shifts and it's just easily happening, pretty effortless, I consider that very shifty. And it definitely had that with this one. This was not an issue at all for me to capture some color rolls and some real pretty, uh, what quote unquote glamor shot pictures with it because it's very easily shifty. So. Indoor lights, it does take on just a touch of a pregly color. You can see that there's almost a olive green sort of base color to it, and it's got that nice coppery sort of shimmer, but easily, easily shifts over, depending on your lighting and whatnot, to this gold. I'm seeing uh, a touch of this nice pinky sort of color, and there's a lot of orange as well. Very, very pretty. I think this also has a very nice rich formula to it. I think two coats is gonna be perfect for most unless you polish very thin. And Sassy Sauce brings us Pinch My Grinch. This is a dark olive-ish green when cold to clear when warm jelly-based thermal with a strong pinky red copper golden shimmer, red hollow micro glitter, and red flakies. This one's 13 with a cap of 500. So this one is very much a super sensitive thermal. I've never had any issues with Sassy's or Carrie's, I should say, um, thermals. They are always very reactive and you can see it between that first and second coat easily transitioning for me. Because it's so packed full of shimmer, your warm state is gonna take on this luscious type of what I'm gonna call a peppermint look. It's gonna have this somewhat um, milky sort of appearance to it and you'll see it here in just a moment even better, um, but it's gonna have a strong red shimmer to it with the matching red flakes, really pretty. And then when it's very cold, it has this really dark olive, almost army green sort of appearance. So very strong contrast there. You'll easily see the warm and cold states on your fingers and it does dry down just a touch on the flat side just because it's so packed full of shimmer. So I'm gonna suggest a very glossy top coat. So once again, wish listing should open up this Sunday sometime whenever the uh, headquarters is ready to release the gates for us to come in there and uh, load up our wish lists and all that good stuff. I'll link you guys below to that as well as the Facebook group if you want to get in there, see additional swatches, what else is happening this month. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.